Alright guys, we are back in Ruby, and uh, we're in the final section finally. We are doing Object-Oriented Programming Part 2, Object-Oriented Programming 2. Um, so we're going to continue on the Object-Oriented theme. It looks like in this one we are creating a bank account. So let's go ahead and just get started here. So, uh, first we're going to create a class called Dog. So class dog and don't forget to end it and then within there we want to create a function uh, or a method rather initialize and we want to take two parameters name and breed and then we also need to end that as well and let's see inside your initialize we have to assign those all right and then we also need to um, let them know where they belong essentially at name and breed equals breed. So should be familiar if you've done the first object on your programming section. Alright, now we're gonna add a public method called bark. That puts four. Alright, so it's still in the dog class, so we're going to call it def. And I guess we need to start it off with public and then underscore what's the name of the method bark. And from there, it's, it looks like it doesn't take any parameters. Um, but in there, it's going to be a put statement that says woof. Cool. Let's just go ahead and save them. Oops, did you add a public bark method to your dog class? Oh, you know what? It's just bark. And before it, above it, we need to declare it public by the looks of it. So I believe that should work. There we go. Alright. A lot of stuff to read here. Alright, add a private method called id to dog. So here we're going to declare it private above. And then we're just going to declare it like we would any method. And we're going to call it uh, id. And should create an add ID number. So let's see here. Add a private method called ID dog. The ID method should create an add ID number instance variable. Equals one, two, three, four, five. And then we need to end that. Let's save this one and see if that it's an app ID number equal to one, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's the underscore. Cool. Alright, so we've got rid of our our code. We're starting with a new one here, but class person. Alright, so method for me. We brought back our person class with a method for getting the app the name and the job go ahead and remove the name and job equal methods and add an attribute reader for a name attribute reader for job so we're going to remove this and we're going to remove that and let's see the example here okay so apparently there's a built-in function called uh, ATTR attribute reader and you're setting it with a colon so in this case we're doing name and in this case we are doing new underscore job You know what? Do we keep it the same? Okay, so I made a mistake here. So those attribute readers are actually done in uh, the class when we're declaring the variable. So this is uh, attr underscore reader. And we're going to set the name and attr underscore reader, and we're going to set that to job. 
Let's go ahead and save and submit. All right, there we go with that. So we have an attribute, you're doing an attribute writer for a job. Go ahead and replace these with the attribute accessor. So this is a reader. Let's see, does it want us to replace it with them all? That's what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and test it, see if that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this makes a variable attribute. We can actually, by the sounds of it, remove one of these. So let's go ahead and remove this. And uh, this basically incorporates both aspects of it. So that should be fine. It lets it be a reader and a writer. So check out the example module. See how the information of pi is stored in a series of methods for calculating the circumference. So they give us uh, the variable pi. Uh, we then insert it into here uh, in the dot area method. And pi times radius to the second power. OK. Looks like we're just going to be calling uh, or creating uh, create your own module in that area to write. Include constant called fave books. All right, so let's see. Um, module. I guess modules are oops, are probably simplified classes. So in this case, we'll call it my library. And in this, we want to include fave underscore book. And we'll end that. And then we'll say fave. Our book is equal to, and I could be wrong with where this is going. Um, actually, I am if we're setting it in here. Most uh, actually, let's go. I want to try it first. Um, so this is equal to uh, the last book I read was by Ernest Klein, not Armada, his latest one, but it was the Ready Player One. That's what it was. Ready Player One, a good light read um, if you like coding and stuff like that. Alright, so let's check this out and save. Did you create a module called My Library? Okay. So Ready Player One is my favorite book. Under the scope resolution of, op of operator to put the value of pi from the math module to the console. So, uh, here we need to declare where we're getting pi. I believe that's all it's asking. It looks like our code doesn't print math pi. Alright, so let's go ahead and put math pi. Cool, so that it goes ahead and prints out the value of pi from the math library that's in there. Go ahead and require a date on line 1 so the code on line 3 will work. So we'll say uh, require date. And I believe this is just importing the date. Oh, so lowercase? That's interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's lowercase here when it's capitalized there, but. Um, I guess that's just how the libraries work. In our case, we want to use math cosine, but we don't want to type math colon colon, include math on line 2. Alright, so instead of doing that, we're, this, I, apparently this is how you include. So we're going to include math, basically saying, let us access the math library, and this will now let us uh, use the cosine be able to use cosine here because uh, it already knows what it is. Check out the code and ever see how we can find the jump method in the action module and mix it with the rabbit and cricket classes. See how we define the jump distance, random number, 
Okay. Create a module, martial arts. So module. Martial arts. Design. I meant to call it swordsman. Yes, swordsman. That puts. In the swordsman period. All right, and on lines eight to fifteen, please include martial arts. So we're going to include martial arts. Let's save and see what happens here. Undefined meta include for so on line eight and fifteen. So we have martial arts here. I'm a swordsman. So do we need to? I believe we may need to declare it here. This is what I think we need to do. Um, I just looked at the line for getting that shifted. So uh, we need to include it in each one of the classes. Cool. So check out the code in the editor. We've, we've extended the here and and with the present allowing it to use the now function. Extend present. So this is kind of a similar way to there and to basically do what we just did. Um, We've set up an application class in the editor. Add a public method called print status. So uh, we want to and we want to put print, print underscore status, and then. Uh, to application that puts we want it to do some stuff and it says all systems go and then we need to end it and feel free to use the public keyword that should be good uh, below your public method add a private method um, called password that returns a super secret password one two three alright so this is just a def password and this returns one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if that works. Let's take out the string. Private def password returns. Let's try puts. Oh, we also need to end it. And we need to return it. So that might have been what we were messing up on there. Okay. Uh, create your own module called languages. So let's create a so module languages. End it. Um, in the editor, include a constant called fav. So we'll say fav save equals. And for the sake of argument, we'll just put Ruby. Name your favorite programming language. Bam. Did you create a module called languages? Yes, but I spelled languages wrong, so there we go with that. Bam. And finally, let's include our languages model into our master class on line six so that our favorite language gets printed in the console. So here we need to include include this module languages because otherwise it won't know what fame is, or fave rather is. Bam! Earned a programming badge. We're killing it. Uh, that was the end of our object oriented programming, too. And next up, just a sneak peek, is our very final section of the uh, introduction to Ruby. Uh, banking on Ruby. It looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of calling methods on our actual classes and stuff. And so, a little more object oriented programming. Um, when we finish this section, uh, 
The next one up, there's Ruby on Rails, which is just like Ruby, my understanding is, but on like steroids. It's just same thing like JavaScript, and then there's jQuery. So, anyhow, uh, anything constructive, always welcome, guys. Uh,